Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, we're in a slightly different location today. We are in a little cabin in the middle of the woods in the middle of Hertfordshire and I'm not gonna lie, I'm obsessed. This is one of the cabins from Unplugged Rest, which is a really cool company that is basically designed around just having a digital detox and switching off for three to four nights. So every stay is kind of like three to four nights. I think there might be ones that are like seven nights, but we're doing three nights. So we got here last night, we shut our phones off straight away, we put the fire on and we just got cozy, had some hot chocolate, had some snacks, and it's honestly been so nice already. So the whole point of this is obviously that you shut off from your phone. There is phone signal if you need it for emergencies. However, they do give you a fancy little old school Nokia with snake on it, and this is basically our lifeline so we've given our parents and like people who need it the contact for this and then this has basically got preloaded like the cabin hotline i guess you could call it so if we need any help with anything we can just message a team and they will give us like the information we need like if we need bin bags or if something goes wrong like the hob's not working or something we can just give them a message which is really handy they also gave us a compass old school we also have a nice map which is like so and it shows you where our cabin is and then it shows you where different points of interest are so this has got like a sainsbury's a a couple of pubs, a farm shop, a tea shop, etc. And basically different places we can go. And they're all at least a 30 minute walk. So we think we might do one a bit later. But our phones are in here and they're not coming out. They've stayed nicely tucked away. And we're having a really nice relaxing weekend. I was a bit apprehensive at first because I never put my phone down like I am one of those people that's constantly checking their phone like I'm always picking it up and looking at it even if there's like nothing on there even if I've got nothing to look at I'm always checking my phone and I wanted to give myself one weekend completely without it for one to prove that I could cope without it and for two just to have like a time that's completely just me and James where we don't have any distraction and we just enjoy each other's company being in the woods with the most stunning views ever like we woke up this morning to the most insane sunrise made coffee the old school way so we've got a little like coffee grinder thing here which is like a little grind your coffee yourself vibe and it's just so nice being here like it's so relaxing and so beautiful and we haven't seen another person we haven't heard anyone like we've seen pheasants this morning we saw deer there's been like the cutest little wildlife it's really nice but yeah we're just having a relaxing time I'm gonna make a little hot chocolate now because the coffee this morning just <laughs> i don't think i did it right so it wasn't the best experience but we're gonna have a hot chocolate i'm gonna make use of this because they gave us one pack of film which is 10 pictures and then we did also bring the disposable camera as well so that's kind of how we're getting all of the content because this is a gifted stay so they did kindly gift me my stay but i'll leave all the links and stuff down below so we're going to get all our content on here and on the disposable and on the vlog camera so phone is not coming out but the camera is going to be our way of getting content and that's going to be our only digital thing apart from we have a radio which is hilarious because we have cassettes and the cassettes are things like this so we've got whitney houston i'm your baby tonight We've got a bit of Spandau Ballet, we've got a bit of Madonna, <laughs> a little bit of everything, and then this is our radio, which we have actually tuned into Heart, so we've been listening to that this Angry morning. with himself. See? And then we've got a few books up here, so there's like um, Scrabble Dictionary, because we have a game of Scrabble, and then there's a few other ones. And then we've got our fire down here, a little table situation, so this pulls out, which is really nice. Bathroom is in here. So we've got a compostable toilet, which is a bit of an experience, little sink, and then a shower, which we both used this morning and the shower's nice and hot. That's our little bin shed out there. And then when you come around here, this is the kitchen. So obviously we've got the door and like the coat hooks and stuff. This is the kitchen. So that's all our breakfast bits washed up. We've got the little hob here, which is the only thing you can cook with. So we've got the little kettle going. And then they did provide like coffee beans, English tea, olive oil, and like coffee and stuff. And then this is our little stash, but they gave us like cinnamon and stuff as well. Bag storage is under here. And then this is the bed, which is a bit messy because we've just been surviving in here for now. Like we've just been having our chill time on the bed. But look at this view. It's so beautiful. And the sun came up over here, which was so nice to wake up to this morning. Like we, sh <laughs> we slept with the shutters down, but then we popped them up for the sunrise and it was beautiful. But this morning we've decided to relax and just spend our time here. So we're going to have a quick hot chocolate now, like I said, and then we're going to make some lunch in a little bit and head out. So there's apparently like a coffee shop tea room in the local town, which is about a 30 minute walk. So we thought when the rain eases up, because it's meant to be raining till about 12, we're going to head over there, have a coffee this afternoon, maybe get a bit of cake or something, have a little look around the town and then come back for dinner because it obviously gets dark at about four o'clock. So we need to time it. Actually, we probably need to go a bit sooner. We probably need to leave here at like half 11 because mm. we're going to need to be back here by four because otherwise it's going to be really dark. That's 
And I don't want to lug that huge torch. <laughs> That's the only problem with this time of year, like it is getting darker sooner, but it's quite nice because we have got a fire pit outside. And if we can manage to somehow tip the water out of it, we're gonna use that to make a little fire tonight and maybe do some s'mores because it is bonfire night. I'm loving it so far. I haven't bought any makeup with me. I haven't bought any hair stuff with me. I've literally got like sweatpants and stuff with me. I'm living my best life and I'm loving every blooming second of it. So hopefully you enjoy this vlog because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of montages and a lot of us just enjoying time together. And I do have thermals on because I'm a cold human being. <laughs> Primark thermals are the best. Okay, we're about to make some lunch. This is what we're going for. So we've got some chicken, some cheese, some bread, and we're gonna make some kind of toasty, but we didn't realize there's not an oven, it's just the hobtop. So we're gonna try and improvise and make it work. Probably not gonna go the best, but we'll make it work. The one good thing about these cabins is you can bring all your own food. So they provide pretty much everything you can cook with and a fridge and a hobtop. And then you basically just bring whatever it is that you need. So we've actually packed things that are still things we'd eat at home, but things that are easy to cook here. So we've had overnight oats for breakfast and then we've got two more packed away. And then for lunches, we're just gonna do things like toasties and like burgers and stuff like that that's really easy so we're gonna attempt to make this now and we'll see how it goes but we don't have an oven and we need one so it could be interesting <laughs> These are little cheesy chicken toasties with some red onion chutney. Name a better game to play when you have nothing else to do. Or Scrabble, but that's gonna be later. We're gonna play that later. The pheasant's back. I think I've already said this, but we've been rained in for the day. It's really grisly and horrible outside. But as it's nearing three o'clock, it seems to be easing up, which annoyingly means we can't go anywhere because the sun's gonna be setting soon. And obviously our phones are locked away. So if we go anywhere, I don't know how we'd find our way back. But I think at about half three, we might try and empty the water out of the fire pit and see if we can get a fire going. Because it'd be really nice to just do some s'mores and stuff tonight, especially where it's bonfire night and we obviously don't have any plans. We did see a lot of fireworks as we were coming in yesterday, which is really nice. And I forgot to get sprinklers. I was gonna get us <laughs> sprinklers. <laughs> I've done that so many times. <laughs> Sparklers. I tried to get us sparklers and I completely forgot about three different times. So we're just going to do s'mores instead and just have a little sit outside with the fire going, which will be really nice. But James has managed to keep this fire going the whole day. It did go out. Has it gone back again? Have you got it back? It's coming back. Yeah. He's getting it back. But we've just been sat playing Uno, which is really fun. Uno is just one of the best games ever. I absolutely love playing Uno. And honestly, still not missing my phone. The more time goes by, the more I'm like, just don't miss it. It's really weird because I really thought I'd be struggling and I'd be like, oh, want to pick my phone up, which sounds really silly. But I think I'm probably with about 80% of the population when I say like, I mindlessly scroll all the time and it's not something I intentionally do, but I feel like I'm always messaging my friends or checking social media or replying to emails and stuff. And it's just nice to not have any of that. Like even not having a TV is so nice because normally we'd get in an evening and just watch TV or something together. But it's really nice to just not do that and just actually spend time together and like, just chat. Like earlier we were having a chat about, I don't even know what, like just stuff. We've played Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit. I've done some of my cross stitch, which if you've never cross stitched, if you're someone who likes a task that takes brain power, but also like makes you not think of anything, I really recommend. I'll leave a link down below to like an Etsy. I'll have a look at Etsy search for like easy beginner ones or something. Cause you can get the ones that are just like worded or whatever. But I tend to do the a bit more advanced ones because, oh my God, there's like five pheasants in a row over there. Yeah. Look, they're all walking across the field together, can you see? But it's honestly so relaxing. It's something my grandma used to do, my auntie does it, my mum does it, like my whole family just has always done it, which is how I ended up getting into that and like knitting and stuff. And it just is one of the most relaxing things ever. And the one I'm doing at the moment, which is like the Harry Potter one, I'll put it on the screen for you to see, but it's Harry Potter, which makes me want to do it even more. And I think it just looks really nice. So 
Hopefully this will be the first one I ever finish. I normally get 95% of the way through and then don't finish them. But hopefully this one I can finish and me and James can put it up in the flat or something and it will just be a nice little thing to have. Or alternatively, we said we're going to gift it to someone and I think that's quite a nice thing. Like if you gift someone a handmade present, especially if it's like a good handmade present because I quite like doing that. Like I think this year I might give people gingerbread for Christmas as well because nothing beats homemade gingerbread especially when it's Christmassy shapes. But I really want to learn how to flood biscuits. That's my next thing. I want to learn how to do the cool icing on biscuits. I might try and start like asking around. I just really want to do it. I want to just do a lesson in it or something like class. It'd be so fun. But that would be a really cute idea, I think, to give everyone biscuits. But anyway, we're just having a little coffee, a little game of Uno. I'm waiting for the rain to stop, which has just started drizzling again, which is really annoying. It stopped for about 20 minutes and now it's back. I guess that's what you get for coming to a cabin in the English countryside in November. But also, really enjoying not doing anything to my hair or my face for the next couple of days. It just feels so nice to get out of bed and not need to worry about doing it. Remember I just mentioned the pheasants that are running across the field together? You can see all five of them over here. They were in a line and now they've kind of spread out and they're just having a little waddle around. But it's really nice just watching wildlife. We saw like six deers earlier or something walking across together, which is really cute too. We're attempting to start the outside fire. Whether it stays on James and the umbrella, I don't know. We're trying. First batch of smalls ready to go outside. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Good morning guys. It's Sunday and our last full day here which is really sad because because I'm really enjoying it and it's been so nice to just have a break and not feel like we need to be anywhere or do anything or like just to fully be able to relax is so nice but this morning was torrential rain so we stayed in bed, we read books, we had coffee, we chatted, like we literally just had the most lazy morning and then dragged ourselves out of bed about half an hour ago, showered, made coffee, got ourselves ready and I think we're gonna head into the local town because apparently it's really nice. It's about a 30 minute walk and the rain has been, I think, yeah, I, was, I think it's drizzling at most, but it's definitely not downpour like it was a minute ago. So we're gonna try and chance it and walk into town now, hopefully get some coffee and then just take the umbrella and pray that the rain stays off. It does say it's meant to be like between 100% and 70% for the next four hours. So there's potential it might go very wrong, but we're gonna try, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna use our wellies to get across the field and then they basically, so they basically give you wellies and there's like a little drop box by your car. So I think what we might do is wellies across the field, drop the wellies off and put our walking boots on and then walk into town. Cause I don't really wanna be in like really muddy wellies trying to go into a coffee shop or something. Cause I think it's just a bit, I don't know. I feel like it's wrong. I feel like it's not very fair if we're just walking in and walking mud everywhere. So that's our little plan, but I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll see, hopefully it's fine. I'm hoping it's fine. If it's raining we're halfway, we're screwed, but 35 minutes. I feel like we can do it. There's like an hour in the rain potentially, but then we can come back and put the fire on and get cozy. So I think we'll be okay. That's our plan. But we just wanted to get out and do something today because yesterday we were stuck inside for the rain. So we thought we've got a brief window. Let's see what we can do. And I need my coffee, can you tell? Dibble -a -dibble a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I right, so conscious. We're doing it. We're braving the walk and hopefully the rain stays off. But this is our little cabin over here. Very cute, very small. And then it's just in the middle of this giant field. 
so like you literally <laughs> there's nothing around which is mad but um basically it's on like a farmland i think but it's kind of like it's not in the middle of nowhere like if you go back to the path then it's like probably what would you say like two minute drive to houses and stuff like it's not too far out but it's nice enough that you don't hear anyone or anything and this one actually has another unplugged rest cabin like very very close as well so like we have the same parking bit but they're in a slightly different like area shall we say so if you were coming with a friend it'd be quite a good one because you could have like two two sets of two in each cabin and you could just like go to each other and hang out and whatever but um obviously we don't know who they are but yeah ready for a little walk it's actually not that cold either which is quite nice yeah. lovely um started raining but we've got the goods and we're heading back <laughs> It's just suddenly come out of nowhere and it's quite, quite heavy. Horny thoughts after dark. Used to stay up late to just talk. We was moving fast, trying not to get caught. Them your skin so soft. Let me open up your heart. Cause life too short till death do its part. Knew it from the start, you be the one I'm pushing carts with. In the supermarket, you know I love to start. Took you to my crib, I can eat some sawfish. Breakfast in the morning, making waffles and some sausage. Girl, you blow my mind like a Nintendo. We're back and we bought cake with us. Oh my goodness, we've got a lemon drizzle and a Victoria sponge. And they smell amazing. I actually can't wait to eat this. We basically just went over to a place called West Mill and went to West Mill Tea Room, which is a little like coffee shop. It's kind of in the middle of like a, it's in the middle of like a really tiny village but it was so busy every table was reserved apart from like two tables and we just sat down had a coffee had a toasty and then got cake to go because as much as i would have loved to stay there and eat the cake i was so full at least when we've had a little walk back to the cabin we'll be hungrier again and then it started raining on the way back so we've been a little bit rained on it was actually not that bad though. it was like a five minute drizzle and then it stopped not even but we're gonna sit down and eat some cake i'm very excited about it and james also got some retro sweets so we just got some flying saucers and then we also just got these random like apple and watermelon things but flying saucers i haven't had for ages and then he also got some of these i've never heard of these these are like milk flavor chews but apparently he really liked them as a kid so he picked some of these up i feel like this will be nostalgic for some of you i have absolutely no idea what this is <laughs> never seen them before maybe i have seen them before but i don't really remember because i don't have dairy so i would never have been able to eat them don't know but I'm gonna eat the cake now and i'm very excited it's literally like the size of my head it's so big if it looks like all we've done is eat and cook and that's about it that uh, you'd be correct all we have done is eat cook and make fires um but that's how we've chosen to spend the weekend to be honest it's not all we've done it's all we've done that's interesting enough to film because a lot of the time james and i have been sat in bed reading or i've been doing my little cross stitch done absolutely loads to be honest I've done loads of it um but we've kind of just been sat doing things or like playing board games and stuff so it's not really been something that's interesting enough to film like you don't really need a montage of us sat in bed reading books for like four hours so you've got the cooking but hopefully you've enjoyed it and to be honest really enjoying cooking in this kitchen however i feel like we should have made wiser food decisions on what we bought because we're making burgers right now but we plan to make them like fake zinger burgers and like coat them in chili heatwave crisps and stuff but we can't do that because there's no oven and you can't really fry them when they've got like chicken and whatever uh, crisps and stuff on so we're just going to improvise and make just chicken burgers and hopefully they'll be fine we'll see it's Monday morning now and we've just got home and it feels so good to have been offline for as long as we were but I'm very ready to be back now back into the swing of work and I just feel more inspired than anything like I think being away and not having like constant reminders of like work and life and like the tv and all that kind of stuff it was just nice to completely switch off and it makes you almost appreciate the things more and when it came around to getting our phones back out of the box neither of us are really that bothered like we kind of just put them straight in our bags and we were like okay cool like that's that's fine like it is what it is messaged a couple of people to say we were still alive and we were okay and then i think i've checked social media once and it's been about three or four hours since we left but 
highly recommend going we stayed at Wilbur which I think I've already mentioned but if you wanted to have a little look on the website they've got a few different destinations and all of them are within about an hour from London so very easy to get to if you are needing to commute there I think on ours it said you had to get a train if you didn't drive you had to get a train to a station and then like a 20 minute taxi or something but for the most part they're really easy to get to so highly recommend I will leave all the information down below including like outfit links and all that kind of stuff but thank you very much to Unplug Rest for letting us stay if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and I'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.